just doing an update on the um, the G uh, Generac generator. Um, and basically, since it was leaking well, um, I figured it'd be better to run it like this because it'd be easier to clean and service and everything else. Um, I'm basically slimming it down uh, to lighten it up even more. Uh, I guess some parts I'm going to move. I'm going to cut this off. Don't need it. Uh, the bottom half has been basically mounted to the bottom of the case. I cut the case off. The case is over there. Uh, just so it has a good footprint and it's sturdy. Um, as you can see, I got the phases coming out. That's after I rewound the stator. And I got the way I wound it is. These two can be in other direction, it won't make a difference, but this is the the um, the center of the um, of the stator, so like if I mix this up with one of these, it will make a difference, so I made those two blue, and then I reversed the pin for that one there, and then made it white, so I don't mix them up. And then I got this finished, and basically completes the 110 volt step up. It's basically a, um, a rectifier that's grounded to the, or not grounded, but uh, bolted and heat sync to the um, to this uh, old uh, 24 volt charger case. It's fused and there's an LED to go with it. 12 volt regulator on the side, and this does charge my battery, even when it idles. So when you take it out of the basically it's going to be it's going to be a gym bag kind of a motor you just put it on the back of the bike in a bag take it out put it on the ground start it up charge up your battery and continue on it's only good for I wouldn't do it in the city unless someone gave me a call and I met them somewhere and charged them up but you just basically plug these in here and away you go so not much to it this can go on my side bag. This goes on the rack on the back. Now, like I said, I'll lighten it up even more by moving in extra parts. The CDI unit, I'll have to strip this down, make the wire shorter, and I'll probably mount that somewhere in there out of the way. And I'll have to add a switch to turn it off and on, which is a wire in the ground right there. That's about it. Uh, I decided to leave this on. It uh, you know it, it protects you from touching the uh, muffler, but the the way it's designed is it pulls air in through the front. It has a huge fan on the um, on the flywheel, it pulls air over the motor and then out the back, and then it cools the uh, muffler at the same time. But I'm gonna leave that on anyway. So when I'm done with it, uh, I don't have to wait for it to cool down. I could just quickly shove it in the bag and go, because uh, nothing's gonna be touching anything that's hot. Uh, so it's come along. I'm going to make another wiring harness with the rectifier and the capacitors for if I want to run it straight off the bike. Like if I'm in a jam, like my BMS dies or whatever, I can basically just plug my controller directly into it and boot home with it <laughs> if I have to. But, uh, you know, hopefully I don't get busted. You can see I've added a few straps to it. They're lightweight. It doesn't weigh that much now. It's pretty light. A uh, good chunk of the weight was that plastic. So uh, the original gas tank was up here, but uh, I decided to use a chunk of wood and I mounted it down there. It's it's solid. It's not going anywhere. The gas line comes around down the bottom, and then I still got the shut off on here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet? I might mount it to something and have it set up for that but uh, <laughs> the sad part is this generator actually works better without the um, internal inverter and the um, servo uh, throttle it's more adjustable so that's as far as I got if I wanted something on the road portable you could see the rack I built I uh, Basically, didn't like the idea of putting another trailer on my uh, long bike because it's already long enough. So I basically took the sides off the trailer and uh, I mounted them to the bike. It, it is solid. 
like, don't get me wrong, it's not something that's going to fly apart. As you can see, it's all, I reused all the original bolts and everything. Everything's all bolted, nicely machined in there. It'll carry some load. So, I mean, it's, uh, you pay good money for racks like this for a bike. And I built, built it myself, so I'm pretty proud of that. And it's solid. So basically, once I get a duffel, black duffel bag for the motor, I just basically have to uh, just drop it on the back of the bike, which you won't feel it anyway. Well, it's not too bad. In a duffel bag, and then I use uh, one of my, I have a lifting strap here that I can put around it just so it doesn't slide off. And uh, we're good to go. You don't feel any of the weight on the back of this bike, so that's pretty much why I wanted this set up. A trailer, you got to keep looking back and making sure that you don't, you know, it's just an extra flat and everything else. This is a way better setup. If I could just find a, either a gym bag or a backpack that'll just slide right over that. I'm thinking a gym bag. So we'll see. Or if I have to make something myself, I will. I got the old cover from the um, the trailer. I could maybe sew something up for that. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna work. <laughs> Made it work. Later.